That's a musket. of the drill become second Audio. Fire lock. So that we're doing it automatically <laughs> and doing it uh, this Audio. You know, under fire, fire and going up against the drill. Um, this drill would have been a couple of hours ago. Fire lock. Audio. Fire lock. Now, the other thing you'll notice when they're marching is that uh, they're shoulder to shoulder. If we had more troops here, they would be in two ranks at least. And basically, they would fire together all at once. This was another limitation of this smooth war because individually, it was not very accurate by today's standards. The way around that was that they would fire as a company. The company was 40 men at full strength. So basically, each company would follow orders, load, and fire the musket. Oh, oh. Essentially, that company became a giant shotgun. So every 15 seconds, in theory, charge your the bayonet. The One, two. And basically, that was the prelude to getting in close enough to work with the band. Your labels, your books, anything. So all that had to cost extra money. So it's like a, a sales tax with something else added. If you're expecting cucumber sandwiches, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> because tea <laughs> yeah, and those. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And then this is our menu of what we're making today, and it's got even the recipes, so you guys can make them at home or try them at home if you want. I'll see you on Monday. Yeah, I'll be around. I'll be around. Oh, okay. Thanks for Yeah. He says that now, and I get worried. My last, it depends on what you use as a mordant or a fixer. Um, the darker the dye, the more intense the color, the, the shorter it lasts. So you're going to have to brighten it or re-dye, which is often done. Um, but we now have processes where they stay, they fix, but typically things fade within a few years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really good pair. Yes. Well, it's one of those things that would have been like a wedding present, and so you would have passed it down the generations. I have silk. Ah, you have silk. Very good. You want to feel? Oh, I know what silk feels like. Let's see. Uh, my ribbon. <laughs> My ribbon is silk, oh. so yeah, I know it's all that silk. Oh. Uh, they also had larger ones for punch uh, that would strain like wassail and, and other rum punches and, and uh, uh, wine punches. But this one is for tea, so I'm going to put it directly over the tea bowl. Now, the reason it's a tea bowl is because it doesn't have a handle. Most teacups in the 18th century did not have handles. Uh, you're getting into 1800, a little bit later, you start seeing more handles in the teacups. Oh, they're really nice. Nice. Like hey, they're no, I didn't bring like any pop it, 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 What about, and, can and, you use them? Um, yeah. 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 But there's some I mean, things I kind of want to change them. Yeah. Would the bigger lid fit on really top really of it? I know that you can't see them. I really want to take the eye out. Oh, they're going to eye you, yeah. Is that little one still? That's what I think it is, but you can't see them. Reset! Fire! Load! And that was the command of the battlefield fam. Prime and load. They just the command to let us know what it's That was your 15 seconds. Yeah. But, but where? Where did they shoot? The bullet must go. Make ready! Reset! Kill your Carlox. Kill your Carlox. Yeah.